And there we go, that's it. Um, welcome to the worst deck you've ever seen. The worst deck that can kill on turn four. At least. It's not as worse as what I think to make. We'll see. No, I, 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 I'm pretty sure it's not as bad as what I can make. For <laughs> her. After you see, well, this is the worst turn four deck I have ever seen. Let's put it that way. Worst turn four deck. Can't really say that when 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 your main cards cost six mana and you're relying on the infinite mana combo and you're waiting for it to slowly reassemble itself after one part of it's been or after one part of it's been. Would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. When one part of it's been. Oh, I will keep this even though it has no mana. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Well, in a deck like yours, I think that's fine. Especially against a deck like mine. Unless everything in your hand costs two except for one card. Oh. Risk. Risk. We take that. Especially when the opponent's mulligan. I'll go to six. Five. Oh, favorite combo deck ever. What's that? Oops all spells. Oops all spells. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Oh, what? Why? Oh, oh, I'm dead. Continuing the tradition of naming magic combo decks after cereals. <laughs> like there's fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles. Now there's oops all spells. Oops all berries. Um, Cheerios. I don't know about others. Uh, those are the only ones I can think of. Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes? Is that an actual deck? Or did you just make that up? Like, see, we don't even know. I mean, like, I'm just thinking, hmm, that'd be an interesting deck. Is it white and blue? I'll keep. You're up? Jackson Pro. Mountain. Mountain. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Yes. I'll play the field. Go! <laughs> oh, okay. Surprise. Well, then, go. Faster. <laughs> I didn't expect you to not play a land last time. That could have gone poorly. It usually doesn't, because I usually get stuck with a whole bunch of lands. Admittedly. Cheer. You're at 17? There we go. Showing off my Jigglypuff. Because I play Jigglypuff in Melee, so... Although this one has the two moves you don't use competitively. Roll out and all of them. Hey. It can't be as bad as what I because I don't. So you're at 19? No, I'm at 17. Now. Oh, because you're taxing yeah. That's right, that's right. Pastor? Like I said. Oh, okay. Here you go. Let's get the ball rolling. 16? I'm screwed. I'm killed on my token. Electromancer. There you go. Well, you cleared my field now wide open. Good for you. Boom! I never get, I never get <laughs> Had to pick between the arts. We'll cast a uh, countryside crusher. I have no clue what that does. Yeah, that's why I have it turned this way. Check it out. At the beginning of your turn, upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. If, that, if it is a land card, put it into your graveyard. Repeat this process. Whenever a land card is put into your graveyard or anywhere, put a 1 1 counter on the countryside crusher. Yep. Yeah. So I'll reveal until I hit a non land, but every land that I hit will give it a plus. I feel like you have 56 lands and 4 countryside crushers. Whatever will give you that idea as I scratch my head. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That sounds like something I would build. I do have a good reason for having this deck. I use it to teach players to have some sort of interaction. So it's a teaching tool. Yeah, but you're playing against the one that, that doesn't interact at all. True, but at least you're fast. So it doesn't interact, but yeah, fair enough. 
consistency with that deck can be a bit of an issue. But like people that don't have any hand attack, any counter spells, any removal, yeah, yeah, you can grape shot if you absolutely have to. Yeah. And then just flash it back later. Alright, I'll let you focus. It is? The tech scene probably. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh. I wonder if I get this one case and you can use the uh Ready? Huh? Can you do rock? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. Okay. <laughs> so he's a ten ten? Yeah. Uh there's an imaginary seven on this one. May I borrow this? Yeah. And then I'll draw? Because that was all up here. Jigglypuff. Combat? Mm -hmm. Swing 10? Go down to 6. Faster? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, you have different countryside crushers. Yep. <laughs> I wonder, what would you do for a combat? <laughs> Mom? I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. I played the trick for this. Yes. Five cards, instant or sorcery added to hand. Mm -hmm. And I got to refill it. And you, uh, you tap that. Oh, I see you five? Mm hmm so that's gonna happen, I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna see if we're going in here. Pass through flying, okay. Ugh. Ready? Set, go. Mm, I'm gonna probably forget how much mana I have. I will do my best to keep well. Actually, let's see if this has a tool for it. What is this? Just the settings. Um, I thought there was a mana thing on here. So let me just show you my hand or my uh, my thumb. Let me show you my baby at the bottom of the phone. Anyway, I guess not then. All right, all right. We'll just. I'll keep track. However, you we'll keep track. Whatever. Red, red, red. So nine Three. red. You're at nine red right now. Okay. And your storm is five. Fire. Yeah, you can re-equip this. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you for five. You know, hit me for six. Oh, yeah. Five plus one, yeah. Okay. Pass and flying. Okay, puts you down to three. And that's seven. And then red, red, red. Okay, that's good. That's it. I mean, like, I was gonna try to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I'll make you do it, but I think that's. I think you got me here. So you can pass through flames. Go through depths. My okay. one blue. Okay, so now we're at eight with still three in the pool. Adding a writ, because why not? No, because that's the only thing I can actually play. <laughs> oh, that'll do it then. So with three red in the pool. Detaxing Pro. I'm gonna be at one. My hand is mountains. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, technically I already conceded, but whatever. A land I can't play. Didn't you play the island this turn? Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, like, a land that I can't activate. Oh, gotcha. Oh, either way, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Ultimately. Put you down to red in the pool? Mm, what? You only have red left in the pool. Yeah. And you're at 11 storm. And that means I'm dead, because then you go rit, 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 and then grape shot. Yeah. So I, I'm not even going to bother you. I'm, I'm done. I'm dead. I saw the writing on the wall, but I guess technically my opponent could make a mistake. So. Uh-huh. Technically. Yeah, you know what the sad thing is? 
What's that? I mean, you have to rely on mana spells. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, like, for you. I mean, like, not even a draw spell, just mana. Fair enough. It gives you the easy storm, I guess, once you get past your flame. Rit, 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 rit past your flame. Rit, 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 rit. That's nine. That's well, it could there. technically be 18, because of splice. It could be, well, it's 10, because of the uh, past and flame. You flash back past and flame. Anyway, anyway. There we go. Now we're recording. Your hand was secretly on the bottom. What was it? Or was it? Dun, dun, dun. You know what? You know what? Thing gets stuck in my head so badly. What's that? The Karibo boss battle thing. The Karibo boss battle? Every Karibo boss battle is a little bit different, but it's ball game. You play Yu Gi Oh! I brought my Yu Gi Oh! deck with me. I mean, like, I used to play Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Or I'd like to continue, but we didn't have anywhere to go play. If you just bring your cards, I'll play you. I'll bring my deck so that we can play. I mean, like, we sold them so we can play Magic. Oh. Well, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not even going to say that's a bad trade, but... I played Cyber Dragons. Okay. That was how long ago? Uh. Yes. <laughs> that was how long ago? Yes. Uh. You going first? Oh, yes, but I've, uh... Oh, just mulligan. a moment. Okay, yeah. I'm keeping. There is an actual... Like, I can play a more optimal version of this deck. But, um, it won't be as fun because you swing with like a... Well, I didn't have time. I basically just, I had the five cards and I threw in mountains until I got this deck. There are cards like Teetering Peaks and Cavern of Souls and Smoldering Spire, I think it's called. And stuff like that that you can add that makes it a little bit better. Like the one that gives first strike and plus two plus zero. Oh, you makes can also add the land from Shadows where you can even bring it back. Uh, it taps for colorless. You're talking about the one... Like, yeah, just... Back? Yeah, so I can't use colorless mana in this deck. I need red. It has to make red. Oh, Gitu Encampment, that would go in the deck. Uh, yeah, when you're playing the card Gitu Encampment... If it's its land, how bad it is. Well, it's actually not 56. You're close. You're very close, man. 53? Well, you'll see. You'll see. Mm -hmm. Or not. You may actually not. <laughs> if it keeps going this way. I need it. I think one more turn to get you in this time. Without knowing the top of my deck, I don't know. Probably one more turn. Since I defining top would be a very, very good card for your deck. For that deck. I, I can't run it. I know. Sadly. Uh, countryside Crusher. Pretty much land or bust. Oh, no. I mean, like, so you can let the card the library. Welcome to Magic the Shuffling. I'm your host, T1 Glisten Row. So I'm going down to four, I think? Yes, and if you keep, you have a scribe. You have a scribe here, you just... Going down to three? No, I'm not going to I'm used to it. This is not all that painful, actually. Hey. Okay. If this were most decks, yeah, that'd be one thing, but not in this deck. Hey, I keep a one land hand with four detect with My, three detected probes. Yeah. And hopefully draw a land or draw something. My minimum for this? Two. On the play, it's two. On the draw, it's one. I got Which means I got one more. <laughs> this will be my last one. I mean, you want to play the yeah, it's something a little bit slower because I don't get mine. Still wish I had Paul Color. The movie, the game. Alright. It's, it's a very. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got your scry. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, I guess I should. Whatever. Pass it out. Go. Who, who needs expensive scolding tars? Eh. When you got what you dealt to. You finally got a scolding tar. No, I'm gonna just tap it off. You know it. You know what it is. Oh, what happened? Seems like your phone went to sleep on us. Yep. So it did. I'm gonna draw my one card. Go. Wah, wah, go. At the end of your turn. 
and pop both of them. <laughs> if I had a tenth for every time I die because of a stupid reason, I have a lot of dollars. That thing to bother me. I could be Bill Gates. Probably. I would be Bill Gates and all the trucks are done. Mr. Game and Watch. Yep. Game and Watch. Like the way the announcer says it, it's Game and Watch, but he says Game and Watch. Okay, man, watch. Much better. So you know what L Cancel is? Mr. Game and Watch. I'm trying to say it correctly now. I can't actually L cancel three of the areas. Oh, yeah. The game treats them as special attacks. Oh, so you're good? Yeah. Don't. What? Oh. Engineer for Shift Fortress 2. Really? Oh. I was. <laughs> yeah, but that works, though. Team Fortress 2. Unicorn power! Soldier! Oh, I team playing Unicorn. Unicorn. I'm going to trot into the horse and pick you all a bouquet of flowers. And here are the best that I know them. My turn? Okay. Yes, your turn. <laughs> and you head on to another fetch. Oh, man. I think I've dealt more damage to myself fetching. Serum visions. Yeah. There you go, that's the best one ever. I did it. I missed all your brain, Darn it. Donut Kakarot! Uh, I have almost no lamp left yet. I pulled it out. Okay. Except for Johnny Offshoot, I pulled it out. Just building to the perfect hand. <laughs> Super visions, we take that. No, no one's horrible here. So now from beyond is the I'm pretty bad. You know what's sad when a deck does six damage to itself? No, it's fine. Especially in a match like this. Excuse me. Oh, and you're getting basics. Fair enough. Spoiler alert, I don't have Blood Moon in this deck. <laughs> Man, that would be sick. So what were the two? Bloodstained and... Yeah, okay, so the, yeah, the basics had to be those. Uh-huh. Electromancer it is. Pass turn. Mm. I ended up doing that again. Yeah, I did, but I can't remember if I went up here. I think I got things. But I did. You weren't here when it was kind of you told me. I remember you told me. Five hands. Mm hmm. You said you lost to the kid with the last one. Oh, yeah. Slime hand. <laughs> yep. Tapping to him for a reason. Although, why aren't you tapping your basic, if you don't mind my asking? Just because it's not really necessary at the very moment. Or, yeah, the very moment. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now that we're actually going off, the storm is five. Uh -huh. And we're rocking... Let's see. So right now it's five red, and we're using Manamorphos, so we're making blue blue. Yeah. Okay, so four red and two blue. Dude, I I want that to be cool. Yeah. This more red. One. Okay. Don't make blue. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I played another. A man. So wait a minute. That was five. And you went. You spent one because of Electromancer. So yeah. You went to four. And then you gained two. So we had it correct. We had it right. Yeah. Okay. And then you got three. Yeah, so we were at this. And then three, five, uh, six. 
And then we're spending one going to five and making blue blue. Yeah. Okay. Pass to flying. You know what? You're you're good on mana now. You're good. I'm not even gonna keep track of mana anymore. You're good. So you just play those again. Draw two more. And then get taxi and probe twice. I think. I'm gonna check the probe from my hand. You taxi probe from your hand. Uh huh. All right. It's a mountain, of course. And then do it again. Yeah. And then draw two. Uh -huh. We're just we're shortcutting this. He's he's got it basically. As long as he can find the grape shot. Slide of hand. Yep. I have two grape shots in hand. Yeah. You have two grape shots. Just show me a grape shot, and I'll concede here. Okay, there we go. Because then he grape shot, flashback, pass to flame, grape shot. That's it. And then copy grape shot. Because <laughs> why not? Okay, so let me do a really quick deck tech for you. You ready? You ready for this? Hundred side crusher. Times four. Yeah. I'm going to do this at the end of every match. <laughs> Welcome to the stupidest deck. It can't be a, It can't be dumb. Why time stretch? Alright, so here's your start. Mm -hmm. Four countryside crusher and a fling. <laughs> so we get this thing to be huge. Swing, fling. Swing and fling. Or make it to a 20-20. 20, 20. 55 mountains. Now, granted, some of these are supposed to be other lands that actually do something in the deck. Teetering Peak, Smoldering Spire, Cavern of Souls, E2 Encampment, so on and so forth. But what we care about here is flinging. they make red and fling, yeah. So ideally it's like the perfect draw for the deck is on turn three we get a crusher and then we hit a bunch of lands. We hit a land pocket and then we swing and if that isn't enough we fling. Or are you fling it? Or both, yeah. Or you just fling it directly at their face. Or you can do that. I like to swing first to try to draw bait out a response. And then if they have a response, then we fling. But you get the idea. Yeah. That's the deck. That is the deck. Period. Enough said. It can't be, it can't be as bad as Pilly Paul.